okay so let's let's talk about in a context of uh, of programming okay so what is data and what is data model so let's see if you're building a leave application okay so so leave application so what the normal flow in leave applications would be you will create a leave applications and it, it will go for your manager approval so when you apply for a leave applications you need to fill some data right so what kind of a data you will fill okay so let's say you are working in any company as an employee okay so you will fill your employee details or employee details will come auto populated you will select employee id or if you are like logged into app at the app, 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 uh, organization system then employee, employee details will come auto okay and then you'll select uh, the details of your leaves okay so i've tried to portray here okay the data model okay usually what we have uh, developed in open source in java okay so if you see here we have employee okay and it has a few attributes so that attribute is like id first name last name and department and age okay so this this class if you see this class is looks like a java class okay so if i have to form this corresponding class and create a data model in pega the how the class structure would be so the class structure would be organization and then the application's name so here organization is qtometer and then application is leave app and then the data okay and then we have employee so before going to this here here we can see that how pega forms the class so the pega forms the class is organizations applications name and then work okay and then the case type so here if we are going for a leave applications then our case type class name would be leave app and then here the data types will come okay so in our leave applications if you see in a high level okay what kind of a data we will be using so we will be using employee details and then leave details okay so there is two data model okay so if you see now how the class would be form is that organizations app name data and then employee and then the similar way organizations app name data and then the leave details now let's go uh, to pega and create this two data model and see how it looks like so here you can see that i have created application okay so application is leave application and uh, as i was saying so we have data and there is no classes under data and under work if i go okay then we can see apply leave okay so this is the case type class and under data we don't have any class so now we'll go ahead and create it uh, at least one data type okay called employee and and see how we can do that so we can create the data type or data model from the pega as well pega dev studio but uh, according to pega best practices is to create from the app studio so we'll navigate it to app studio and we'll try to create it from there so here you can see that we have an option so here we can see that our case type is uh, i saying leave app but under data objects we don't have any data okay so now we can click on manage and here we have an options to create a new data okay so we can click on new so now it's asking the object okay data object name so our data object name first we are going to create is employee okay and then here like few advanced details is there so we'll we'll learn later about this one and for now define source data okay so we can uh, do um, do this later i'll i'll uh, we'll talk about this one also or let's do that define source data okay so let's click next so it's asking create data model using a spreadsheet no we don't want uh, we don't have prepared the spreadsheet so we'll just submit it let me refresh okay so we can see that employee data model came okay and it navigated to dev studio but again we'll go to app studio and we can see that uh, we will see one data model so we can see that employee data model came so now we have still we have not added the property or the attribute okay or the variable so now we'll we'll add the variable to this so the first variable we'll add is the employee id 
and we can click submit and add another because we want to create three or four and then we'll add first name then we'll add last name then we can add age so here we can for the age we can select integer type so from the drop down we can select the type so here we'll select integer so we'll submit so we can see here now we have created the variable okay and and parallel to this one we'll we'll go to now now we'll go to a dev studio and we'll see if our class got created okay so let's go back to dev studio so now we'll i'll go to app so here if i click refresh then we can see employee class okay so we can see that employee class got created so we can go to definition definition of this class and see what type of class it got created so we can see here that it, it got created a concrete class concrete class means that it will have some instances uh, corresponding to this one we will have a database table and we can save some details okay so now we can add employee id as a key of the table okay so this will be unique for this one so now i'll save this one okay so we are seeing warnings because we have not created a tables yet okay so now we'll go to data types so if you go here to data types we'll see that employee okay so now we'll click here okay so if you go to records okay so still our data storage is not configured okay so basically like if any data is there where this data will be stored okay so like if you see in any applications we usually have a two kind of a data one is that it, the data is already there in applications we will just select okay select either from the drop down or we will just hit enter and bring the data okay and another kind of a data which user will input okay so here this employee id should be pre filled okay if any employee is entering employee id then his details should be auto populated okay so for now usually this this kind of inf informations will be stored outside that system pega out, outside pega okay but here we'll try to create a local storage okay we'll create a employee details uh, table in, in our uh, pega only okay so we'll go ahead and configure the source so we can click on configure source and here we can already see that our key, uh, use key is selected employee id so i'll just move this one on top and then I'll move first name and then I'll move last name and then I'll just submit it so what it will do it will create it will create a data type it, it will create a database table okay to pega and uh, and database table uh, in in the database and map map this class employee class with that table okay so that if any instances is getting saved through the pega or updated through the pega those details will get updated in that database employee database table and parallel to that we will create a data pages as well so in pega we use data pages to fetch the records from the database table okay so we'll we'll learn about this one as well okay so let's for now submit it okay so now our table got created okay now i'll close this so now you can see that okay here we we will get an options to enter the data okay so basically here like uh, pega will give an ui to insert the data from the pega front end to the back end database table so we'll uh, insert some rows okay and and that maybe further we'll use this this de this details okay to select employee okay to apply a leaf so it's taking little time yeah so you can see that here we we we, we got uh, that details okay and here it looks like a table and we can add the record so let's say we are adding a employee id one two three four five and then first name is Lalit 
last name is six shing and age is 30 okay so in that way we can add we can add more okay let's say we can add another one four five six seven and then we can say shamit and then we can say shing and then we can add 30 so in this way we can add the data okay so now this data can be used through the data page so now you can see that like if i go to source tab so here those data page is there okay using this data pages we can fetch the data from the database and 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 then we can use in our code okay so we'll learn in a, in a next session how to use this but i'll show you how we can use this data page at least okay so here pega have created a kind of a two type of data page one is to look up look up is basically pass an employee ID and employee ID one employee ID and get the result and the second one is get all the all the employee list okay so this here you can see that d underscore employee so basically this is a page type of a structure page means fetch one okay so if i run it will ask me to enter employee id okay and it will bring the data for that particular employee id so basically this is like a, uh, we are putting a where condition we are putting a where conditions where we'll get only one record from the table okay so where record based on the key okay and and this is like the another one is that the list so it will return the list okay so like uh, this will take a select uh, query okay where there is there is not a directly a key okay where we can get multiple re a result okay so for this one to make it work okay should ask to enter that employee id but somehow there is an issue okay so here it will basically pega will ask to enter the employee id we can see in the parameter okay it will ask to enter the employee id and the moment i'll run it i'll get the detail of that employee so so let's let's rephrase what we learned okay now if i save this one because we have created a corresponding table okay the warning is gone okay so let's revisit what we did it today okay so we created like we already have an employee leave applications okay where we needed employee details to store the employee details and show that employee details can be used while uh, raising a leave request okay so uh, to raise a leave request okay if any employee is raising his details should be auto populated and to auto populate his details should be there in some some system okay so that uh, it will display on the ui so what we did we created a data model okay in pega okay so the, uh, like we created employee okay data uh, data model in pega so we went to app studio and from app studio we created this okay so let's let's go back okay there he, here you can see that under like uh, in app studio we have an options to manage data objects so initially we don't have any data objects so we went to manage data object and then from there we created this one so i'll just show you again so here you can see that we are still getting a, uh, a new button okay to click on a new one but for now we can see that we already have an employee okay and here we have a two data pages okay employee and then employee list okay so this employee is to fetch one record and this is to fetch multiple records and then the source of records okay so where this data will be stored so this will be stored inside the pega means pega database okay and if i click here we can see what all attributes it has okay so it has like we have added employee first um, first name last name and age okay after the creations what we noticed that under data there was no class okay if i go to app explorer under data there was no class but it got created a new class called employee in a similar way we can create a leave uh, a data model for leave app, leave details as well so let's go and, and and create again one more so here we can go back and here we'll we'll click next and then here we'll say leave details and then we'll just click next okay so here also we can add the attribute like that so in this table also we should have employee id as a foreign key so that we'll identify that who has applied that leave so employee id then we'll click submit another start date and then the data type would be date so we can select the data type from here date only and then we can add another one and date
and then again we'll select get only and we'll submit so now again if i go back then in data model okay we'll see two two and two data object okay so if you see here okay in data objects we got two okay and if i click on manage we'll see here the two but for this one we have not like we are not getting any data page or any like a source of record because we have not generated okay and initially maybe we don't need it because yes we want to store that information so that 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 is like kind of a design questions that how we want to store the lib details but for now okay this data will come from the user input okay so we will refer this property in the ui to get the details from the user now let's go back and see in, in dev studio or our classes okay so if i just click refresh here so we can see another class it got created leave details okay let's go back and see in data types as well so in data types you can see that leave details is there but here there is an arrow because we have like source okay we have generated a source okay but for this leave details we don't have any source because we have not generated if i click here we have not generated any source once again so if i click here and so if i click here okay if i go to records the source is not generated okay and and this data model is we have only three attributes in this one if I open the class from here, we'll see that, okay, the class is abstract. Abstract means, I mean, there is no, uh, there is no the database linked, okay. So this should be abstract because we don't have any database. We have not generated a source as now, as of now, okay. So, so abstract means there is no, there is no uh, database table related to this class, okay. Data, data won't be stored. So this will be just using to get the input from the user. So, so today we learned about the data model, how to create a data model from the app studio. Okay. And also we, we learned how to generate the source and, and also uh, we learned that Pega uh, automatically creates a few data pages, which we can use in our code okay, to use the data. Okay. And also we learned that we can manage our data from the uh, Pega front end only. I mean the Pega dev studio. Okay. So we can add the data. We can, we can delete the data. Okay. Or we can uh, modify the data as well okay so this is for this is it for today okay and in next sessions we'll learn more thank you thank you very much